my dad. Hi, I, I, I'm Michael, and I am a, not a gorilla. <laughs> Good one. So, what are we doing today? My friend Barbie has this... Oh, 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 I don't think people could hear. <laughs> Say a little louder. But, but my Barbie has a sleeping beauty. Wake up. Wake up, sleeping beauty. <laughs> It'd be really cool if they did a Barbie Welcome sleeping beauty movie. Welcome to my fairytale movie. adventure. But I'm sadly, Princess they Rose, did not. And this is the story of why I'm called Sleeping Beauty. Click on my story fairy to go through my story in order. She'll show you just what to do. Or click on my castle fairy to explore the castle <laughs> and play any part of the story. Ow! Okay, so this is a little confusing here. We have castle fairy and story fairy. But um, Story Fairy's at the castle. <laughs> um, but basically, if you select Castle Fairy, you can do any of the games in any order you want. But that's not fun. We actually want to hear the story. Let's get started on our adventure. Click on one so of the fairies. So we're going to go with Story we'll Fairy, begin. right? Sure. Because we want to hear the story of how she got named Princess Rose. Why is she named Sleeping Beauty? Does she sleep a lot? She just sleeps every day Click until like three o'clock. Click on me again to start the story. Sure. I'll go with you, and whenever you want to continue to the next part of the story, just click on me. It's is it because she's a teenager and that's why she sleeps in every single day, and that's why they call her Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, just because my sister Mary is a teenager and she sleeps a lot. Does she ever wake up in time for breakfast? Let's get started oh, no, she on our wakes adventure. Up, like, in the Click on one of the, of the fairies. And yeah, she she wakes up in time for lunch though. So so good for her. All my magical friends have presents for the baby princess. Click on the gifts to help her open them. Let it be known throughout the land, our baby daughter is born. Let all my subjects of goodwill come forward to wish the princess long life and good fortune. What's this present? Click on it. Oh, nice try. Close, close, click on it. No, no, no. Nah. Click. I give her the gift of beauty. Oh, yes. Now I know what name to choose. She is as lovely as a flower. I'll call our daughter Rose. Does she like the name or does she not like the name? <laughs> I give Rose a special gift. It's just for fun. It's a mirror. Give the princess the gift of laughter. <laughs> what gift would you give the baby princess? I would give her a magic one. I give her the gift of music. This magical flute has the power to awaken the good in others. I'd give her some baby diapers. Why didn't you invite me to this party? <gasps> well, I've come anyway. And I have my own gift for the little princess. When she's 15, a spindle sharp will make her sleep and break your hearts. 100 years of dreamless sleep is the promise I will keep. Oh no, please no, not my baby. Wait, I can still give Rose a magical gift. Let me think. Ah, uh, yes. This will do nicely. Now, all of you listen. She'll nap, not sleep, and dream of bliss. Sweet dreams will summon true love's kiss. The king ordered all the spindles in the land burned so that Rose would never prick her finger. Or so he hoped. The fairies watched over Rose and kept her safe for many years. At last, it was the day of Rose's 16th birthday. That night, Rose would turn 16 and be free of the evil fairy's curse. The king and queen planned a big party to celebrate Rose's birthday. At last, Princess Rose would be safe. Rose loved to wake her animal friends each morning with her magic flute. 
On the day of her 16th birthday, she went into the forest as the sun came up to invite her friends to her birthday party. Rose's friends are sleeping late. To help Rose wake them, click on each animal and the little birds will show you which notes to play on the flute. I just want to point out that the, the fairy said she'll nap, not sleep. But they don't call her napping beauty. They still call her sleeping beauty. And also, the, in, in this version, I guess she lives in the palace. She doesn't, like, hide in the forest with the fairies. Wake up for my she birthday. grows up Soon as a princess. Soon it be time for my party. Okay, so you want to click on one of her animal friends, like the rabbit. <laughs> and you have to remember that long song. <laughs> That bunny looks kind of angry uh, to me. Yeah, I, I mean, she has animal friends in the Disney movie, right? Sleeping Beauty does. Yeah. But she doesn't have a magic flute to wake them up. She just has a beautiful singing voice because they got a... Wake up uh, for my birthday. Soon it will be time for my party. They got a fancy opera singer to do her voice because she was very good at singing. I know you. I walked with you once. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop wake singing. Wake up for my birthday. Well, okay, Soon it will what be animal time should we wake party. up? Turtle. I thought my singing would wake it up, but no. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was an angry sound. It's like, it's like, is that a turtle or a bear? Jeez. <laughs> okay, what animal next? Um, let's do the squirrel. Squirrel. That's an easy one. Think you can remember that? Sure, I got this. You want me to play it one more time? This, I got yeah, it's only two different birds, so this is one of the harder challenges of the game. Uh, I think the last challenge of the game is the hardest, though. But this one's also pretty tough. Yeah, but this... But, but whenever you do the apples, make sure to do the squirrel first. He is easy. <laughs> Well, I think I think the song you have to play it changes every single time. Poor owl is really tired. That sleeping owl. Oh, you woke up the owl. I have to say, like Rose's friends are far more sleepy than she is. <laughs> like they are just conked out napping, and, and you know, like the beaver has been sleeping through all this Wake music playing the entire Soon time. It will be time for my party. No, don't fall asleep <laughs> on me. Okay, you have to play it too. You have to play. You have to play them all in one round. Oh, you woke up the beaver. Okay, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. <laughs> Wake up for my birthday. Soon it will be time for my party. Wake up for my birthday. Soon it will be time for my party. Wake up for my birthday. Soon it will be time for my party. Wake up for my birthday. 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 I'm so glad you're awake. I want you all to come to my birthday party. There'll be lots of music. I love music. Click on me and let's play some more. Click on Rose to hear her play some beautiful music. I wonder why she Click only on the flute has to play along. I wonder why she only has animal friends. Doesn't she have any human friends? If she grew up in the castle, she probably knows a bunch of the aristocracy let's and stuff. Do story fairy again. No, I want to have them dance. Look at them dance. <laughs> They're dancing. 
The finger's just smacking his tail on that turtle, and the turtle seems to really like it. Deer is jumping around. Squirrel's just waving his tail. Whoa, who's Whoa. that? Careful, little guy. It looks like you got carried away. Oh, thank you. My friends are just excited because today is my 16th birthday, and they're coming to my party. Then let me wish you a happy birthday. Um, I'm Prince Kendall. My name is Rose, Princess Rose. I live just over that hill, in the castle. It's a beautiful castle, and so is the princess who lives in it. Oh, you're very kind, and I'd like to thank you for saving my little friend. Would you like to come to my party? <laughs> it would be an honor. I'll look forward to seeing you again, Rose. Um, Princess Rose. <laughs> it's Prince Ken and his angry horse. Everyone in the castle was getting ready for the royal birthday celebration. Rose went to her bedroom to get dressed for her party. The king and the queen have two magical birthday presents for you, Rose. You can make a party dress and decorate a beautiful crown. Oh, what beautiful presents. Let's get started. Click on me to design Rose's dress or click on the table to make a crown. Click on the fairy for my dress or click on the table and try on my tiaras. That's what the fairy just said. What do you want to do? The uh, crown or the dress? Crown. Let's make a special crown for my party. Click on the crown on the pillow until you find the one you want to pick. Then click on me to decorate it. All right, which one do you want? That crown, this crown, heart, this crown, heart crown, spiky crown of, of pain. <laughs> this Out. one. This one? Oh, I have so many new jewels and decorations. Please help me decorate my crown. Click on all the little pictures below to discover the wonderful things you can do. You can even print out a copy to wear yourself. When you're done, click the arrow and I'll model it for you. So let's see, we want to open... Jewels! Jewels! Okay, what kind of jewels? So we've got all sorts of jewels. I want and the pink any jewel. color. Okay, pink is a good color. I want a butterfly. Okay, where do you want to put the butterfly jewel? I want to put the butterfly right there. Nice. Any other jewels you want? Um. I'll just go through. Heart. All right. What color heart? Purple heart. Purple heart. Okay. Where should we put the purple heart? Right there. Right here. And another purple heart on the other side. Ah, so the sides are balanced out. Any other jewels? Um, no. Stickers. Uh, we have sticker designs. Those look a lot like those jewels, to be honest, but they're not colored. Let's do a... Uh, do you want a butterfly one? Sure, we can put the butterfly in each bottom side. Oh, wait, can we change the color? Oh, we can color it, too. I want a pink butterfly. Okay, never mind. It is a pink butterfly, not a, a yellow one. Oh, it's kind of hard to get the entire thing pink. I wish they just had a paint bucket, which just filled the entire thing pink. You just grab a bucket, dump it on. What are you doing? You got pink paint all over my tiara. Okay, <laughs> a, a, any other, any other sticker? Um, the brown. It's Princess Rose, so yeah. And what color should we make um, it? Of the red, red top right there, and the leaves should be green. Yep. So it looks like a real rose. Okay. It's really hard to paint those leaves. Well, they're kind of tiny. There's not a whole lot of area to. Oh, oh great! I got, <laughs> I got green on the rose part. What? There we go. There yeah, we go. Yeah, that's her crown. Oh, um, and grave. Engravings? Do we want any engravings? I don't think we really left room for any engravings, and this one's already got engravings. I guess you could do like an engraving here. Oh, a heart engraving. Ah, polish. Polish. What color do we want to make this? 
Do you want a brownish or a goldish? Gold. A princess should always be gold. Always wear gold. I'll make the center part brown. Like that. There, that's, that's, we're done with the crown. I'd love to wear this one to the party. That looks great. It fits your head so perfectly. It's, it's beautiful. Hey, now, now let's it's get time her dress. to decorate my dress. Need a special party dress. Your mother, the queen, said, make the gown as beautiful as Rose. Whoa. She likes it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. She got the twirl. I'll help you make a special dress for the party. We'll turn ourselves into your magic wands. Use the wands to change the color of the dress. <sighs> All right, what color do we want? Pink. The colors are so pretty. Yeah, just pink, like just a like her. Blue. Oh, so pretty. Pink. The colors Blue. are so pretty. Just like a rainbow. Let's okay, it's pink. Yeah, it, it's that's a yeah, pretty that dress. Yeah, that kind of matches. You're such beautiful colors. Mm. I'd love to try them all. Yeah. I love that. That's a nice one too. The oh, colors do we want are so sparkles? pretty. Just sure. like a rainbow. Oh, Click on me when you're ready to go on with the story. Sure. Okay, let's continue with the story now that she's all dressed up and ready for her 16th birthday, her sweet 16, starring Prince Ken. At the door to the library, Rose could hear her fairy friends giggling. Wondering what they were doing, she pushed open the door and went in. My fairy friends like to play hide and seek. Where do you think they might be? Um... I bet there's one. Yeah, yeah, check behind that painting. Oh, nope, that's just a safe. Uh, Your smile is lovely as the sun. Keep looking, Rose, for you've caught one. Whoa, fireworks. That's not a fairy. Um... Oh, I saw one. I saw one. I saw it glowing right here. Rose's parents wait with love so true. Keep looking, please, for you've caught two. Let's see inside here. Oh, in the fire? <laughs> Keep trying hard, or you've caught three. How did she not the get burned? The waits oh. behind the door. You're almost there, for you've caught four. Under this pillow? No, this pillow? No. That thing? The clock? <laughs> Ooh, did you see it behind the curtain there? Sure. You've caught all five, just plain to see. And now for you, we have the key. The key for what? Oh, to the door. To our hearts, this is the key. Now hurry up and follow me. Oh, now I can open the door to my birthday party. What's this? Your key of gold I'll turn to rust. Your hopes and dreams will be as dust. <gasps> I don't remember this part of the castle. I wonder what's behind this door. Princess Rose, what an honor. Why, I remember your very first birthday party. I gave you a special present. I know what we'll do. I'll give you something, and you'll give me something. You have so many presents. I'm sure you won't need that magical flute. Why would you want my flute? I've seen what that flute can do. I know if I have your flute, everyone will like me and invite me to their parties. The fairies gave me the flute. I don't think I can give it away, even if I wanted to. And anyway, it takes more than a magic spell to make people like you. Very well, then. Come here and see what I have. Come here and touch it. right behind us. Now the evil fairy has the magic flute, and Rose must sleep for 100 years. This is terrible. What shall we do? 
Oh, I hate being sad. Ah, it's as it's meant to be. She's the sleeping beauty now. Oh, but don't you remember my gift to Baby Rose? But I don't want her to be lonely. I know. I can put everyone to sleep to keep her company. <laughs> Here I go. Just use this magic wand to put everyone to sleep. Rose can wake them up when the time is right. I just had one question. What? So, um, I mean, the evil fairy said she remembers Rose's first birthday. So when they were giving gifts to the baby, she was one year old? Because the king and queen are like, oh, now I know what we're going to call our baby. Does that mean they had their baby for a full year without knowing her name? I'm just wondering. So who do you want? You, this is a challenge. You can click on anyone you want. Who's going to fall asleep? Wouldn't a little shut eye be nice before a big party? And then who next? Let's have a little snooze before the party. Okay, it's time for a little nap. There. That's most of the castle. Now everyone's asleep just like Rose. The fairies laid Rose on her bed and watched over her while she slept. They knew they needed to find help to wake up the sleeping beauty. While we wait, let's show we care. Use a comb, untangle her hair. Play some music, bring a rose, for as everybody knows, she must dream dreams surpassing sweet to bring love this way on hurrying feet. Okay, Pick you wanna brush her hair? To help take care of sleeping beauty. I put them all to sleep. Oh, isn't she pretty? What now? And uh, play music for her. And help her smell a rose by clicking on this rose fairy. Hooray! I wonder what those birds are. Do we click on the I birds? I don't want to wait anymore. We need to do something. We can't leave Sleeping Beauty. I'll summon one of her friends. Oh. Go. Bring Prince Kendall to Sleeping Beauty. <sighs> Only true love's kiss can help Rose now. Oh, hurry. Go get the prince. Oh, please click on the squirrel to hurry him up. Wonder why, 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 how did the fairies know about Prince Kendall? Were they there when uh, Maybe they, they were met? Just Maybe they just snuck up. Sneaking around, spying on or maybe Prince she, Kendall. Or maybe, she, or maybe she told them. Oh, yeah, maybe. What? Rose? Princess Rose? The wicked fairy tricked everyone. An enchanted sleep? And only I can wake her? Of course I'll go. Whoa! <laughs> By all that's dark within my heart, your journey fails before it starts. Your thorns are no match for my sword, and your magic will not defeat my love for Rose. <laughs> oh, what? Do we, do we click on? The oh, here we go. Here's a puzzle. was furious that the prince had almost reached the castle. Quickly, she cast another evil spell and turned the path to the castle into a mixed-up maze of thorns. Oh, no. Oh, please help the prince get through the maze to help Sleeping Beauty. Click on the thorns to cut them away. Click on the path pieces to turn them. So we're going to have to make a pathway. Click on Prince Kendall to turn him in the direction you want him to go. My thorns are sharp, but worse, a maze. You'll wander here and end your days. God. Prince, Prince Kimball, you're going in the wrong way. So let's see. I'm going to make a pathway like this. Yeah, that looks good. And now go. Go, Prince. Prince. <laughs> he does a lot of turning, but he makes it to the castle. Yes, nothing will stop me now. Yeah. 
She's awake. I was dreaming. I heard your voice. What has happened to me? How did she hear his voice? He didn't it say anything. It was the evil fairy. She cursed you long ago, when you were a baby. The castle is still asleep, Rose. Only you have the magic within to awaken your friends and family. But I can't make music without my float. It's gone. I must get it back. You must face the evil fairy, Rose. Only then can the castle wake again. I was going to say, yeah, he walked Once into the room and didn't say Rose anything. stood in the spindle room. She had to get back her flute so she could wake everyone in the castle. But the evil fairy would not give up the flute. She began to throw evil spells at Rose. Use the wand. The time is right. Evil melts when touched with light. Click on the evil spells to help Rose reach the evil fairy. This is a tough challenge. I'll do it. Ah, there we go. Ah! Whoa! Quit, quit throwing all these spells at me! Almost there. Ow! Smacked in my face. Keep away from me! I don't think so. Why, I can almost hear the good in you. It's such a soft sound, like fluttering inside your heart. Oh, Rose, you set me free. Thank you. What a great day for your birthday. I wish you well. Aww. And it's the magic flute back. Rose picked up her magic flute. Only her magical music could wake up the sleeping castle. Click. Set the good and evil free. <laughs> Rose once more held the golden key to the banquet hall. At last, all was ready for her birthday party. Click the door to turn the key. Good job. Let's blow out my birthday candles. Click on the squirrel and he'll help us. Okay, go squirrel. Blood the candles. Oh, you want to click on the squirrel. Happy birthday, Princess Rose! Happy birthday, Princess Rose. The end. And that's the end of Barbie is Sleeping Beauty. Did you want to see the credits? Sure, I'll sing a great song. Oh, there's no song during the credits? Okay, we'll play Welcome again, to my fairy and tale let's that you at least show what this fairy looks like. So Castle Fairy just lets you do whatever one you want in any order you want. Like, so you really like this scene. Once more, Rose stood in the spindle room. She had to get back her... Or say, we really like uh, the hide-and-seek scene. Or is that the birthday scene? Let's blow out my birth... That's the birthday scene. Where is hide-and-seek? The fairies. There were a couple of scenes in her bedroom, weren't there? Here's hide and seek. At the door to the library. Do you want to do this again? Here's tomorrow is love. Rose's parents wake with love so true. Keep looking, please. A cake so rich is what you'll see. Keep trying hard, for you've caught three. I'm trying hard. I see. Oh, there we go. I found the fourth one. You're almost there, for you've caught four. I don't see any other fairies to you. Uh -huh. Where's that last fairy? There, maybe. Ah, there. You've caught all five. Tis plain to see. And now for you, we have the key. The key for what? 
the Tikita Rose's sixth up the, uh, birthday the, the at last. Area. She loves to play with her animal friends. Let's go to the bakery. You want to do the bakery challenge? Which one is that? Rose picked up. No, her that's magic putting these food. people. Only that's waking her them up. Music could wake up. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Rose what? No! Oh, I was trying to end the game. Thank you very much for watching us play Barbie is Sleeping Beauty. Anything you want to say to uh, everybody before we go, Rosie? Bye. Bye. Make sure to watch some of our other videos, too. We, we, we played Barbie as the, the Princess Bride, I think. Yeah. And a bunch of other games, too. Okay, bye.